Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Looking to create a checkout page on BigCartel? In this video we will walk you through the steps to set up a user friendly checkout process for your online store. Follow along and make it easier for customers to buy from you. So guys let's get started. Before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. First of all guys, make sure to go ahead and open bigcartel.com. So click on this website and make sure to have an account within this website. So click right here and as you can see, they have three main plans. Let's go first and create one with the free plan, which is going to be pretty easy. Simply give a shop a name. So it's going to be something like Titan Tutorials and this is the URL that it's going to give us for free. Here we simply have to give them like an email and here we simply have to generate a password or simply write a password of our own so finally here is us agree and then sign up and your account should be created within few minutes let's save and then let's go ahead and start our creation of the website process so let's go here I'm just gonna fill this information of our here for example something like that how did you hear about our social media I'm saying for the first time uh, what do you plan to sell product I buy or shipped by me product I make myself dropship products something like that Any, anything that you are going or willing to sell just choose from this list then click on next what best describes your product uh, for example gifts clothing event tickets beauty skin care accessories etc let's choose multiple things so for example clothing accessories home goods and etc then click on next and this is our website simply now we have to uh, actually uh, verify our email so let's go to our inbox go to your gmail account big card so and click on verify your address and it should be created and there we go so here let's begin with our video so here as you can see we have the dashboard we have the orders we have products we have discounts and we have our accounts so normally guys when you go to your account this is how it's going to look like this is like your profile so keep it as simple as it is um, here you'll find some shop designs so you can preview shop in case you would like to see it and as you can see this is our shop and let's go to the checkout page let's check it so let's shop now and as you can see we have zero product to be shopped it, or to be basically bought so let's start by adding first of all a product so I'm gonna add a random product right now uh, create my first product and let's give it a name so for example iPhone X and this give a description categories whatever active price one dollar and let's click on save this is where we can find the products in the product page so there we go let's refresh and normally we should find here a couple of things so this is our product add to carts and as you, you see right here this is the checkout page that we have in big cartel so as you can see after I click on the checkout page as you can see you will be taken to this page continue shopping or checkout page now how can we edit the checkout page exactly how we want it to be so normally guys the well, first thing that you should do is basically is basically guys so what you need to first of all make sure that you have correct within your account is basically go to your account and go to the get paid section so there we go so get paid section you have to set up your payment option which is very very necessary so I click right here and after that you will be taken to this page so first of all before you get to actually uh, have a checkout page that is working as we saw it can't really take us to the checkout page because basically we don't have any payment methods and we didn't even edit our checkout options so first of all we need to actually edit our checkout page so go ahead and open to the get paid page and get to this payment method so set up payment to get paid connect your bank card to shop to stripe or paypal or both you will need to connect at least one to start selling but we recommend connecting both to give customers both both options so here we simply have to go ahead and give them one of these options since stripe isn't available in my country then we can't really use it so all we can do is to connect paypal so i'm going to connect paypal just give it my account information so we simply have to go ahead and give them my email let me just type here my email let me just copy it from here so there we go go here click on this uh, paste the email right here and as you can see here I have my account already so log in and we have simply got into our accounts so here in case you had your accounts ready to be used and everything good you will be connected and then this gets paid will no longer be shown and you will have PayPal connected or Stripe connected depending on which payment getaway have been 
use it and guys once you have done this the checkout page now should be started to work so you will no longer have problems with your checkout page in fact you will have everything ready to go but now you have to edit some kind of things that you have to edit within the checkout for example taxes taxes has to be counted within your checkout page so the price can be known for the customer once he pays not after he pays you will ask him to send you more money or even like before so you need to give him the add-on of taxes depending on his actual location so make sure to always have your taxes to automatic you can edit taxes right through here and swap between automatic and manual so you can add a tax rate and it will keep affecting it depending on the ratios that you have chosen also here we have chip and profiles beta so here as you can see you'll find the chip in informations let me just skip everything all right good chip so different the default chip in rates there are two uh, there are your default chip in rate that are used to calculate shipping cost during checkouts these are automatically assigned to new or existing product you've created in your shop now what you should do is for shipping profiles or basically for shipping costs make sure to always add them within your product price so within the checkouts the the customer will not find the product price plus checkout plus shipping plus uh, add-ons i don't know plus stuff plus stuff there will be a lot of add-ons of the current price of the product that will make your customer get away from your site and try to find another website that sells the same product for a cheaper price or even for a higher price but without those add-ons that will be appearing to them in the list of the checkout so always try to have everything ready to be uh, already in like implemented within the price or within the initial price of the product so you can call them for example it is very good, good also for the marketing so you can call it for example this product is only for a hundred dollars and the shipping is free but in fact the product is for example on like $95 and the shipping is $5 so you know the idea here now also you have here preferences so you can add preferences like upgrade to, uh, like to have enabled inventory tracking so for example if you had um, like a product out of stock then the clients can't really go to the checkout page of the specific product because the product is out of stock and they can't order it so like that you can keep up your with your orders and at the same time keep up with your stock so you will never have orders that passes the amount of stock that you have unless you have uh, wrongly put uh, a number of stock that you don't have that of course will affect your uh, orders and you might have a delay from you to actually get new stock and then send in the product to your customers so yeah this is basically it for today's video guys thanks a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial